Okay, a couple of things I did while I was offline. I rounded the face a lot more, as you can see. In fact, this side looks like it could come off a little bit more. Um, let me get my knife here. <laughs> Got too many things on the table here. Um, so I'm going to bring this down a little bit more over here. Okay, you can see that it's really a distinct cut right there. You, it's almost like a shadowy look to it. It's that deep. And over here I also did it. And I'm going to show you how I did that. That's how you can give it the illusion that it's deeper than it is and give it a real crisp line. See the difference between this side and this side? So all I did was I took the point of my knife, made sure it was nice and sharp, I held it a little bit at an angle right across the bottom, turn it over and do the same angle on the top and that's where you got your clear, clean, crisp cut. Alright, so right now we're pretty well, I took all the hard edges off of everything in the front of the face and we're just going to go ahead and put the eyeballs in so they're not that difficult to put in. Okay, a little bit rounded. Let me go back here and just clean this up a little bit. There we go. So we put one eye there, about halfway down the nose. We're just going to do a little curvature eye there. Now, maybe a little bit further out. A little bit further out. I know these eyes look really like cross-eyed a little bit, but it's okay that way. So we're just going to take the knife like we do with all the rest. Go right on that line, do a stop cut. And then go from the top, cut it out from the inside of the eye down towards the lid. And we're just going to take the little thing off there. A little hard to do that because that thing's in the way a little bit, the, um, the brim of the hat. So it's kind of hard to get that eyeball a little bit rounded there. There's one eye, okay? We'll do the next one. They don't have to be really deep, you know. It's a snowman, that's all it is. It's not a nice little caricature to do. He's fun to do though. Once you get the hat down pat, uh, you know, the hats were, the hat kind of had me hung up and had to do it for a long while and I thought, well, I did one before and I actually did a profile of a s snowman. I think I have a snowman with a top hat before. And way in the beginning, back in 09 or so, when I started all this. And, let's see if I, I'm just going to fuss with those a little bit later offline, where I can see it more. Okay, so there's one eye, there's the other eye. Alright, so what we'll do from the nose here, we're just going to make a little curvature here. Let me just clean this up a little bit. And you can take that little point off if you want. You can round it off. It will still look pointy, but not just a sharp point to it. Then I take this and I just kind of make a little half or quarter circle on either side. And this is the hard part, is getting this to match a little bit. And then one right across the front. Alright, so when we get that done, uh, I actually take the V-tool, which I will find here in just a second, and I take the V-tool, you can do it with a, like you do the, your V-cuts, do a stop cut or hold it at an angle, go down one way and go down the other, you can do that as well, but I like using a, um, a V-tool for this. All right, and then what I do is I trim off towards the mouth a little bit, okay? Just that little hard edge there. Just get rid of that. All right. That looks uneven. That's not good. <laughs> Let me take it back here for a second. See if I can bring that up a little bit more. There we go.
Now I'm going to take my knife and I'm just going to put a little stop cut. Make it a slightly deeper, a little more distinct V cut in there. Just like so. Alright, same thing with this side. I'm going to sharpen it up. I'm going to use my strop this time. See if I can sharpen it up a little bit. You don't always have to take it on a wheel. You can, if you don't have the wheel, you can always use a strop, which is just a piece of leather on a, on a board. Alright, so, oh, perfect. Yep, there we go. And do it until you hit it off, until it comes out clean, okay? Then we'll do one right in the middle. Curve, curve it up like that. Come down this way, and that's pretty well it, folks, with the face. We're gonna go back to the hat and work on that a little bit. There's plenty to do yet with the cane and with the arms and stuff. I go underneath okay so that's how we do the face now the hat what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the edge off okay I'm going to go all the way around take the very tip of this off just a little bit of, of the tip off uh, of each each corner I already did that one and what you want to do is just round off your hat okay And then from the bottom side, you're going to do the same thing. This isn't deep enough. You just do one line across and do another little V, half a V cut at an angle with your knife and clean it up. Give it a little bit of depth to it. Okay, and then I go around later and I just sliver the um, that rough spot off. Okay, I go all the way around. You can do that later. Take that rough spot off and just try to make it a little bit rounded. That's all. Clean up the top there a little bit. You see the knife marks. All right, that's pretty well it for the hat. Until we do the top, we'll do that later. But that's how we put the hat on. Alright. We're going to start on the body next.